Sure. So, you know what, what is the outcome for a tryout? And I think the number one thing is that we want to have every child evaluated um, equally. And so how are we going to do that? If that is our outcome, or maybe your outcome is we want to create the best team possible. You know what, every coach will have their own personal outcome. Whatever it is, it should be one statement. And then and why do we want to do this? Why do we want to create this best team? Why do we want to create a team of fun kids and fun parents. And, you know, your list of whys will be, we want to have a great season. We want to have, we want to develop the kids. We want to develop them, you know, socially, mentally. We want to challenge them. We want them to grow. We want them, we want the parents to have a great experience as well. And then, well, how are we going to do that? Well, it all starts with tryouts. Well, how do we do this evaluation period? Well, before we show up, um, we need to have who's going to be doing the evaluating. And usually it's the coaching staff. And you're going to have, call it three people. I'm just making a number up. But usually you want more than one so you can cross-reference your, your evaluation. And you want to come up with an evaluation that's going to work for both of you. So you're both using the same strategy. Nothing worse than one person, one coach using, you know, making notes. And the other one's using A, B, and Cs. And someone's using a ranking system of 1 to 100. You know, and you know what, when everyone's on the same page and then your notes will be comparable to each other and you're like, all right, so what do we need to evaluate first? And if we're dealing with house league, you know, every age and skill level is different, but we'll just call house league skating. Let's evaluate their skating. So are we going to hire someone to do the on skills or are we going to have another coach, or another parent to do it? And if they're going to do it, we're not going to pay anyone. We want to make sure that we're prepared because we want to look, we want to run this so the parents are evaluating us to what we're doing. If we're doing a crap job, why would I want to come to my team? I want to showcase a great team. So we need pucks, we need pylons, we need a whiteboard. And we want to keep the drills simple because we know the kids are going to be anxious. We know they're going to be kind of like nervous. So the simple we keep the drill, especially in tryout number one, you know what, the more they're going to show their true ability. And, you know, from there, how do we evaluate those kids on the ice? Well, if they all have different colored jerseys, we don't know who is. Putting a little sticker on their forehead, well, I need glasses just to see my notes. There ain't no way I'm going to see that sticker. You know what? I need something big and simple, right? A number on the front, a number on the back. And if you do want to have a scrimmage at the end, make sure you divide the kids equally between, I'll just call it black and white, gold and blue, whatever, so that you have equal number of kids on each bench. Not one team having 20 white and the other one having one dark color. So, you know, there's a lot going on in, in preparing for this tryout, but really that's what the whole season's all about. It's about preparing for the season. And if you don't prepare, you know, we all know that famous expression, you know what, uh, what's it called, Susan? Um, oh, why am I forgetting this? If you this? don't uh, have a prepare to plan, plan, to, plan succeed, to fail. You know, if you don't have yeah. a plan to succeed, you don't have a... Yeah, fail to plan, plan to fail, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, and you know what? Uh, and then from there, you, the person on the ice, brings all the kids in. You welcome them to the team. You walk them to the tryout. Just do the best you can. We're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for the kids to try hard. And then the person who's on the ice are running exercises, simple, safe. All the doors are shut. You know, the goalies can be evaluated with their skating. And then after doing 20 minutes of that, you know, you're going to flow very simply into the next drill that involves one-on-one -on -one chasing or shooting or something that shows their skills. And it's very simple. And the whole hour flies by and the parents go, Wow, that was great. It was so yeah. simple. Even we could evaluate what was going on the ice. Yeah. And you know what? And the but the coaches, you know, the most critical time is when the tryout ends. You know, it's not a time for the for the kids or for the coaches to go, oh, let's go have a board meeting. You know what? You need to actually make decisions, especially yeah. for your your top kids who you want. You need to go speak to them right away. You need to do it quick and discreetly. And then the ones who you do not want back, maybe because they're just not skilled enough, you know what, but you appreciate them coming out. You need to have that conversation right away too. And then yep. you need to have that second tryout, that second tryout right away. So, yep. 
Yeah, tryouts uh, can be are very simple when they're prepared.